Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. As we always do, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux, Karen Kay's Mermaid and Fairy Oracle cards. We'll be using Angel Answer cards by Doreen Virtue. And then we'll also be using the Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot by Marchetti. Okay, I think that's everything. <laughs> so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces, thank you. 8th to the 14th of March 2021. Message for Pisces, thank you. What does Pisces need to hear the most for the week? Thank you. Oh, nice. Strength. Not to be underestimated. It's a powerful card. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Oh, nice. We have Blessings. You see how this water just seems to be whirling around this mermaid? It's almost like you're being held and you're being told you're being held in this time of needing strength. Be strong because you're being held here. Okay, message for Pisces angels. What is the message Pisces needs to hear please the most for the week? Thank you. Hmm, not the right time. Okay. It's going to mean something to some of you. There's something better. Okay. <laughs> Interesting energy, Pisces. Let's just go with it and see what we have. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is... Your challenge, second card, advice from spirit, third card, future outcome. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. And certainly with this not the right time, it won't be for everybody. So it has to be something that you're unsure of or you're second guessing yourself on. You know, it's that kind of energy. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces, thank you. Message for Pisces. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Strength again. Wow. Two cards of strength. Big energy there, Pisces. Okay. message for Pisces. Can we clarify the cards? Go deeper into the message for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords in the challenge position. Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, bottom of the deck we have the Chariot here and um, Pisces. Okay. I'm feeling, I have to say for some of you, I'm feeling a really strong Cancerian presence around you. And I felt this doing one reading last week. So I just have to say that Pisces, because it might mean something to some of you. Um, the strength card is a card of Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo. Uh, it is about being strong, being in your power in the face of adversity and fear. So you're being told by the universe to stay strong, 
because you have the power, the courage, the resilience, the resoluteness to overcome any adversity that stands in your way. This is about stay strong. You will master that which opposes you. It's a definite energy of mastery, the strength card. It's also to do with negative thinking as well. So for some of you, negative thought patterns, there is a need to master. You know, there is absolutely a need to master here, um, to stay in your power. Don't let the energy wander, you know, the negative energy wander here. This is about keeping it under a tight leash, a tight rein, and stay in your power. Yeah. Because you're being held. I mean, there is definite an energy of you're being held. And I, I want to say to you, Pisces, things haven't happened because they weren't right for you. There's something better. It definitely feels for some of you that there could have been a letdown here or not hearing something or something fizzling out that you thought was a real opportunity here. I mean, it feels to do with money and career, I have to say. Um, but you're being told, I mean, do you see the, the flourishing, the flowers, the, the kind of flowers? There's a kind of flourishing energy there that I'm picking up on. And a definite energy of this lightness of this angel, you will rise above the situation. It's not the right time for you. Something wasn't meant for you. And that's what you're being told. It just wasn't meant for you. There is something better that is absolutely meant for you here. Um, so stay strong. Uh, stay in your power. You have the power, the courage to overcome whatever this challenge has been. And what, ha what wasn't meant for you? What wasn't the right time? I mean, the... The message here is, I mean, you could be waiting on some news or information or communication here to do with an opportunity. And there could have been delays, there could have been setbacks. And the message is, either this wasn't meant for you or it's put on hold for a reason because it's just not the right time for you. Uh, with the energy of there's something better, it feels like there's something better coming your way here, Pisces. And there's definitely an energy of the changes coming, you know, two, two eight cards with a strength card. You will master this and bring change to your situation. But there's definitely an energy of, of if there has been delays to do with opportunities or not hearing back to do with opportunities or not finding progress in a situation to do with money, career, finances, contracts, uh, business opportunities getting greater abundance and money in your life, then the message is stay strong. Because for some of you, the message from spirit is the abundance is coming. The page of swords is a message and it's generally a message of truth communication and the pages mark the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so you will get clarity you will hear some news or some uh, communication or learn something to do with something that will bring you greater abundance and um, security and solidity not just now but for the long term ten of pentacles is long-term security and stability it's also a card of goal achievement uh, for me as a reader because it's a 10 and it has a material aspect to it money career finances you know getting something that is more than what you expected i mean the 10 of pentacles is for you for your family um feeling abundant on every level you know it's a lovely lovely energy the 10 of pentacles the hard work will be rewarded but the 10 of pentacles is also a card of aligning you will align to the right opportunity for you. You will hear the right information that you need that will bring you greater abundance. It feels for some of you there's something linked to greater abundance, greater material success coming to your way. 
So if something hasn't panned out or if something isn't quite happening now, it's meant for a reason. Everything happens for a reason here, Pisces. And there's definitely an energy of greater abundance. This is the maximum abund abundance you can have in the minor arcana. It's a 10. It's a goal. It's the ultimate, you know. So it definitely feels for some of you. Things happen for a reason. And I definitely get this energy of learning something that is going to bring greater that is going to open a new door, that is going to bring greater abundance your way. So stay strong. Stay strong in the face of this tower, which I feel for some of you, I mean, the tower can be... We build many towers in our lives and tear them down as well. It's part of our evolution. But remember, this Ten of Pentacles is what you're being aligned to. And the tower is, the universe saying, it's time for this tower to come crumbling down. Yes, you do need to connect to your strength, but you are strong enough to withstand and overcome the challenge that this tower imposes on you. And you will master it. There is definitely an energy of you will rise above and master it. So stay strong, stay resolute. You are being realigned out of love by the universe to the path that you need to be on. And that's what this chariot is telling you. And again, Cancerian energy. Um, and the chariot is a card of leaving something behind and moving to the new goal victoriously. So this is about eyes on the prize to victory, success, by pulling the reins of your life into balance, by going for something, eyes on the prize to victory and success. Focus on what is going to bring you victory, not what is going to bring you delays, not what is going to bring you disappointment, but something that is going to bring you victory, something that is going to bring you the shift, something that is going to bring you success. Because there is determination, there is action, there is perseverance, there is willpower associated with the chariot energy. But the message is you are strong enough to overcome the obstacle that this, this tower has presented to you, could be in terms of money, career, finances, and overcome it victoriously. There is a victory here. This is a sign of success. And I feel for some of you, the success is there's an opportunity, news, learning something, hearing something to do with an opportunity here, that is going to bring you more, it feels like more money as well. Greater abundance, more money, more than you would have anticipated here. So you're being given blessings here, stay strong. The universe isn't leaving you in this energy. It is actually helping you. Remember the sun on the canopy of the chariot is saying you're being watched over on this journey to success. So it's a very powerful message. Okay. I love the energy of that Pisces. But I feel that there's been some disappointment um, that you might have experienced. And the message is, no, just stay strong. Something better is coming. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you got this card. This is my favorite card in the deck. We have transformation. The fairy tells you to, to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And that's what the universe is trying to tell you. There is something better. So don't worry. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Pisces, and I will see you next time. Thank you.